Father's Day this weekend, rather than putting my feet up and getting showered with gifts, that can happen a little later, I'm going to make a fun little project that even the kids can help me out with. It's an old school pencil box and it's going to be a lot better than this one here that my two girls use and they'll be able to personalise it. After all, the greatest gift is spending some quality time with the little ones. For the basin lid, I'm going to be using some 7mm ply and for that I need to create some rebates in the box and that will allow my base to sit flat and my lid to slide in and out. A rebate is basically just creating a channel and to do that I'm using my router. Now if you don't have a router, you can use a circular saw with a guide on it to get the same effect. We can see this top one will be for the lid. That allows it to slide in and out. And this bottom one, that makes the base nice and flush. With the rebate's complete. The next step is to use my drop saw set on a 45 degree angle to cut four pieces, 300 mil long, long point to long point. And to know that you're cutting your angles the right way, the short point is always on the rebate side, which will be the inside of the box. If you don't have a drop saw, you can get the same result using a mitre box and a hand saw. With our pieces cut, we're ready to turn this into a box. For that, I'm going to be gluing it together and using masking tape to hold it until it dries. I want to crash and burn. see with the masking tape how it all just folds together and you'll see that I've stepped this bit down and you'll find out why I did that a little later. Now because we're going to have our 7mm ply sliding in and out of these rebates you just want to make sure that you clean out any glue in there before it dries. Now to give it extra strength, once I've stuck this together, I'm also going to be putting these straps over it to make sure that these 45s really grab. Darling, you and me, make this thing With the box dry, I'm ready to strip the strapping off and get on to putting on the base and the lid. For that, I've just cut up this 7mm ply. Now for the base, you want it to be a nice snug fit and I'm just going to be using some glue and these little brad nails. And with the glue, you don't want to put too much on, otherwise when you put that base in, it's just going to squirt everywhere. But anything that does come out at the bottom, you can flip it over and just use a damp rag to clean it up. And when you're using little brads like these ones, you might have big fat hands like me. So an easy way to deal with them is just get some masking tape, stick the brad through that, Hold on to the masking tape and nail it in. Makes it a lot easier. Remember this little step down? The reason why I did that is because the off cut becomes the handle for our lid. So it will sit on it like so and allow us to open and close the lid to attach it. It's exactly the same process as the base, just some glue and the small little brad nails. Smooth as. Now there's only one thing left to do and that is to decorate this box and that's where the fun part begins because you can personalise it. Me, I'm going to get my two girls and see what they come up with. This should be interesting. <laughs> Arabella, Ruby, come on. Hello. Look what we've got here, girls. We've got some new pencil boxes. What do you think? Do you want to come and sit down and decorate them? OK, come on. Where are we going to start? So see, the way it works, girls, See how the lid, this is the lid that slides in and out. Okay, you You want to use the diamonds? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah? These look like diamonds. No, that's Do you want it here, sticky Ruth? pop. Get off me. Squeeze. Yeah, Bobby. 
Bill, do you want to brag? I think this is going to take longer to decorate than to build. But we're getting there. What's next, Rubes? Cheese. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Mwah. You gorgeous little girl.